Whoa, oh, that was pretty scary. You did a great podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Welcome to another episode of High Noon. Got the trusted sidekick, my co-host, motherfucking Nicholas the Packley. The Packley, Nicholas the Packley. The Packley, motherfucking Nicholas the Packley. And first-time guest, Cam Patterson. <laughs> what it do, game members? <laughs> Oh man, that was that might be the best start to what we've ever. Had. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. Yeah, like, that was scary. Yeah, that's funny. Hey, that shit was crazy. Fuck, I was down like this shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on here, man? <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, oh hell yeah, dude. Well, uh, welcome, man. I'm glad to have you on. Um, holy shit. Uh, fuck. Yeah, welcome, buddy. And uh, you yeah, are. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, from Florida, correct? Yeah, West Orlando. Yes, yeah, sir. Orlando, okay. Yeah, yeah. What's uh and how old are you? Twenty four. And why why don't you drive? Uh, cause I towed on my car a long time ago and I just always find a way to get around. Okay. I'm like one of them bad kids that's always like late at, I'm out to school. Yeah. And they ain't got no ride home, You're but the, they always get home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is me. I always hated those people. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, here comes Cam. Gonna ask me for a ride. <laughs> come on, come on. My mom ain't coming to get me, bro. Yeah. Please, please. Dude, uh, one that actually reminds me. Uh, when I was younger, my uncle was... The, so I, I was... Uh, the way that my age group worked with my cousins mm. was uh, it was my oldest cousin and then two grades down was my other cousin, his sister, yeah. and then one grade below her was me. Yeah. So we always rode to school together. We grew up in the same town and their dad, my uncle, was in charge of, of picking us up every day and I can't... I bet you at least six times throughout my childhood he forgot to pick me up because if if they didn't go to school yeah. he just would think that he didn't need to go that's yeah. hilarious so I would get I would be that little sad kid just <laughs> sitting on a park bench why do people leave where what yeah, yeah. I'm like well where's my ride oh, and, so and I would funny. always every time I'd, I'd either either like you said someone would like feel bad for me and get yeah. me home like a parent would yeah. see me and uh, it was apparent that I needed a ride. <laughs> Bro, dude, that's so sad. That was sad as shit. Yeah. Well, <laughs> usually, I, usually I enjoy those. And I was like, that was pretty, come on, man. Yeah, well, I, get out of here, man. You hilarious. And uh, so, so, or I would walk back to the school yeah. and be like, my uncle didn't pick me up. Quit licking the box. And, <laughs> and uh, just, I just remember it would always, and I was always such like a, just like a, oh, well whatever yeah <laughs> so it never bothered me but looking back i guess it is kind of sad yeah nah, sad. <laughs> <laughs> so uh so it it's, uh, yeah 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 never never never, never worried me well, yeah for the people for the people that are listening we appreciate you but just cam he's just moved to austin from florida he's uh one of the do- he's uh, one of the new door guys at the mothership he's a regular on kill tony and we're happy to have him we would have got to it i know but you would have got to him at the end of the episode <laughs> no we would have got we would have got to it yeah but well, i'm just uh, saying we need a proper introduction <laughs> um in florida uh was yeah. there in orlando in particular is there public transportation Bus and shit, yeah. yeah do you did you use that or it was like i gotta nah, find a ride when i started doing comedy so i had a car when i first started doing comedy and i towed it and i would use my dad car for the most part because we would share a car shit like that but if i couldn't use his car so you know we comics so yeah right find figure it out you know yeah saying? and uh did you total it like was it your fault oh why was it my fault were you drinking nah oh I was, okay so you're just a bad driver oh no i'm actually a great driver i just got adhd uh-huh so I'm, you were on your phone weren't you no bro everybody think so everybody think it's not what happened okay <laughs> i was driving and it's a light when my, when my mama said it's a light and it, 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 it's real fast it go by real fast and it was green right and i looked up and it was green and uh the car was still going and i seen somebody that i knew no <laughs> And I was like, Steve! I was like, hey, nigga, I know you! And I was like, I was like yo! And then when I looked in front of me, if the cars ain't going nowhere. Oh, and then I just, like, hit some bad... Oh, you rear-ended someone? Oh, yeah. I had, yeah. Some, I had some bad bitches in the back. They were cute as shit. Oh, did you get their numbers, too? <laughs> I did. Yeah. Oh, you did? For yeah, it's called, yeah, it's called it's exchanging information. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, pfft. That's really why I did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. did some hoes in that car. Yeah. Did you hit them up later and be like, I know we met by accident, but what's uh, up? Come on, baby. <laughs> the insurance gave y'all so much money. Just something I did one time. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't need insurance. <laughs> yeah, just suck my dick, please. They were um, cute as fuck. I uh, that's I uh, I got I, I you know how when the lights green but you're pulled out and you've established that you're turning left, you yeah. know, and then when it turns yellow, you normally wait for them to stop, then you go right, yeah. even if it's red. So I was in that situation, and I went when it turned red, but the guy in front of me ran the red light and T-boned me. I I still had dealer plates on my truck, oh, wow. and he T-boned me, and I'm in the middle of the intersection, and this car full of like tweaker bitches pulled up next to me. They were ugly. They weren't good looking, <laughs> and and they go, they go, are you okay, honey? And I was like, yeah. Would you would y'all mind waiting and giving the cops a statement? And I swear to God, the one in the front goes, I'll stay if you'll give her your number. I was like, all right, sure. And they did. They stayed and talked to the cops, and uh, I just left before they could get my number. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. That's smart as shit. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was like, I'm not going home with any of you. I was just, I was just giving a fake number. Dude, tweet. Yeah, that's right. But uh, I just, you know, I leaving's funnier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, there's nothing worse than fu you're, f dude. Florida, yeah. There's some tweaker bitches there. Yeah, yeah. You got some crazy ass. Oh god, like some real dude. Like, uh, uh, that's good. Oh, was that you? I thought that was Nick. I was like, what the no, fuck did that come from? Yeah, <laughs> that was God's. Birth. Yeah, well, what is God? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh shit! Oh. Man, you called it. Oh. You fucking called it, oh. dog. Oh. You said this shit gonna snap in half oh, one no. episode. Nigga, you called it. Yeah. Oh. Well, it sucks it happened right now, but it's glad it happened. That shit was hilarious. God damn it, dude. Nice, Fuck. Dude. Yo, that's funny. I knew it was gonna happen as soon as Here. I said it the first time. That's why I wanted Mason to say Here, it. Here, we'll throw it out the back door and I'll grab one of the, uh... Good. Here, keep recording. We'll, the we'll... kind of bullshit we put up with that High Noon Studios. Five dollar <laughs> folding chair. Well, now, we want your headphones. <laughs> God damn That's it. That's so funny, dog. <laughs> bro, you so really grab, called it, bro. Let me grab that chair from this way. You got another fucking chair in here? <laughs> you piece of <laughs> shit. Oh, I'm not putting on my dirty ass shit. Why? Because it's dirty. I'm clean. I'm not wait, you want to sit on the cooler? I'll sit on this wood block. You okay. piece of Come on, Bill. Bill, come on. Where's one of the other block like this? You scooted it on it, didn't you? No. That's why I broke. No, I didn't scoot on it. Oh, there's uh, one in the bathroom you can use. Yeah, give me that. Sit on it like a bar stool. Fucking idiot. Clip it. Clip it. <laughs> That's some nice merch you guys have on. Oh, yeah. This is nice. So, yeah, check it out, guys. High noon merch. Oh, God. Oh, this shirt's a little small on me. Um, cause I'm fat and chub husky. No, uh, it it's cause you're good. muscular. You look kind of muscular, dog. Yeah. It's, husky. it's soft. It's not muscles right now. It's gonna. We'll get it. Yeah, this is way. I mean, yeah, we'll just do it like this. Bill's look. Bill's checking on you. <sighs> Thanks, Bill. We're making sure you good. Oh my yeah, god, he, are we still good? Like everything's still good. good? I mean, we're still rolling. That's, That's uh, so all fun. right. So comedy's fun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but that's so fucking funny, dog. Um, man, so uh, I, I didn't, I didn't want to fucking bring up the rock stuff that it, everyone keeps asking you about it. But do you have a rock on you? Yeah. Nice. Can yeah. I see it? Yeah. Is this a fresh one? Nah, I had this one for a couple of days. Okay. I had it for a couple of days. I lose that bit soon. You know, I said it free one of these days. Dude, have you been? A, you know, I keep sending you the what people are taking your audio and putting it with yeah. all kinds of oh, crazy shit. shit. Yeah, that's hilarious. That's so funny. And so you know, it's funny if I don't keep rocks on me, like if I don't keep rocks on me, dog. Like uh, people to stop me in the street, but like, you got a rock on you, and I'm like, oh. and they be like, oh, you a fucking liar, really? <laughs> oh, you a bitch? You don't have no fucking rocks. So like, I, I, I just mean, forgot you today. You, I mean, you you it's, not like, it it's not like you said you carry a rock every day. You just yeah. said you like rocks. Well, like, like, and you said too, you're like, they help me go to sleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they help me go to sleep. Do you like? Do you lay in bed like this? <laughs> I, I swear on, on everything I love, like it's, it's the funniest shit. I will, I will fall asleep every night with like a rock in my hand. Like if I'm like, if I get like real drunk, I'm like, I, I go, to, I go to my room, scour my room for a rock, find a rock, lay in the bed with a minute, doze off, wake up, the rock is like, oh my goddamn spleen or something. Uh. I'm like, why does hey, my you know, why does my side hurt? Dude, dude, like, uh, I actually literally uh, sleeping on the rock. One of my buddies, uh, I got this uh, real intelligent, like uh, wealthy Australian friend of mine. Yeah. And he brings these, uh, he travels a lot for work and shit, and he brings these wooden balls of different sizes, mm -hmm. and then you lay on them. 
on the ground and it like helps with like you like work out your oh, muscle. Oh yeah, you're hitting your pressure point. Yeah, I tried it. It just hurt. I don't really. Yeah, that's <laughs> just sound like pain. Yeah, I don't know what. Uh, like here go a little ball. Just lay on it. Yeah, <laughs> that don't even sound um, like it should be fun, dude. Uh, also, uh, you said so. I saw this clip. You mm. said you used to bite people. I do. So <laughs> I do not used to. He's like, yeah, I yeah, do. Right. But here, I got a funny story for you. You'll get a kick out of this. Dude, when I was you in tell first, me about that, I take my bites there. Okay, when I was in first grade, there was this kid that used to pick on me. His name was Cortland. Yeah. He was mean as shit to me yeah. all the time. And uh, I, so I bit myself. Oh, whoa. Wait a minute. Wrong and, person. Yeah. <laughs> but then I blamed Wrong. it. On, and then I blamed it on him. Oh. And he got in trouble. Oh, that's genius. Yeah. Diabolical. Yeah, you smarter than me, dog. I would just bit Cortland. <laughs> I would have bit Cortland hard as shit. I would have bit the fuck out of Cortland. And then I, 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 I would have took some chunks out of that nigga, yeah. dog. Uh, so would a, you break skin? Oh, what? Oh. So when I was a little kid, my mama got a. So this is this. Uh, when I was a little kid, my mama had a uh, Timmy to that this daycare. Well, friend, she watched her friend watched a, a lot of babies at the same time. Uh-huh. And for one of the um, one of the kids, it was their birthday, right? And so they kept stopping me from blowing the candles out. They're like, "No, it's, it's not Chris for you. birthday." Yeah. They're like, "Who birthday is? It? It's <laughs> like it's it's Chris birthday. Don't bite the candle. It's Chris birthday." So I just bit Chris. <laughs> Happy birthday. Yeah, I was like, oh, Happy birthday, bitch. Well, well listen. <laughs> and my mom was like, he, he biting these kids. Like, he's a, so proud. I bit everybody, dog. Then, then your mom had to start like taking you around with a muzzle on. Bo. <laughs> you were wearing a mask way before COVID. Yeah. <laughs> but I used to have, my, she had him on the leash when I was a kid. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, the, and she was like, don't touch him, he bites. He bite people. Yeah. This nigga really bite. I, I bit everybody, dog. Would you bite strangers? Not really strangers. You, We would have to be around each other for like at least more than four minutes. Someone had to have it coming or no? I don't know. I was reckless, though. That's 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 one to determine the bite. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you had it coming, I was gonna bite you hard. And but you bite just, and you bite hard. I was biting, I was biting the shit out of people, though. Like it wasn't even like a game. Like it was a high. What do you what do you think started it? I couldn't beat my little. I talk. I had a joke about this. I couldn't beat my little sister. Up. Oh, oh, that's right. Cause yeah. she's like she's tall, right? Yeah, she big. So we would always fight, and I would just have to bite her. <laughs> hey man, hello. Like, this is effective. Yeah, you're like, oh, this yeah. works. And my dad told me to bite people. Oh, okay. when I was like, like ten, he was like, you in a fight, you lose, just bite them. Dude, uh, I had my stepdad. My first stepdad told yeah. me because I was real little when I was young. Yeah, and uh, he goes, yeah, if you're losing a fight or if someone's like really picking on you and you think you can't beat them up, just kick them in the nuts. Yeah, he would literally, he'd be like, just punch them in the balls. Uh, win. Yeah, yeah. when it all costs. Yeah. Nobody, like, also, real all seriousness, who was that been like, why you hit him in the ball when you was losing? Yeah, so what was I supposed question? to do? Yeah. Was you want me to just lose? Right. Yeah, no. What the fuck? You no, know, I'm going to fucking kick him in his ball. Yeah, pop him in the, the eye. Fight. Yeah, yeah all, win the fight. Whatever, hit whatever. Now, if you wanted a fight and you kick a nigga in the balls, that's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. right, right, right. right. Yeah. But if you lose him, yeah, you got to do something. Do what you want to do, it's a fight. You know, like, right he was there. kicking my, especially a street fight. Ain't no rules. Ain't no yeah. rules. And uh, I've never seen a street fight last longer than 30 seconds to maybe a minute, minute and 20. Oh, uh, no, I didn't see some, I see some bro. Yeah, really? Dude. Yeah, some shit. Everyone I've seen usually ends real quick. Well, like, we saw him like at school or like just outside? Uh, well, when, so when I, so I grew up in a small town in Arkansas, yeah. so it was real big to like, if you had like beef or whatever, you wouldn't do it at school. Okay. Yeah. You would like go meet somewhere. Like I remember my first fight. We had this party at my house, yeah. and these kids uh, threw a, a rock through my mom's front door. So then I called them up the next day, and I was like, hey, we're going to meet up at the park, and we're going to fight. Yeah. And so it was like you would all drive there, you'd meet, you'd fight, and then you'd just be done. Yeah, and uh, and he kicked my. He was like a boxer, oh, and it was that? my first. He kicked my ass. Yeah, I remember the first time he hit me. I went in my head. I go, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> I just well, remember thinking. Speed. I just remember thinking how fast he was. That's yeah. who. Yeah, and it, and I remember also going, didn't hurt that bad. Let's get back in there. Yeah, yeah. and I I think I might have touched him once. Mm. Yeah, he kicked my ass. Who's uh, in the fight is good for you, though? Yeah. yeah. I've been jumped before, yeah. which I don't know how good that is for you. No, not good <laughs> Other enough. than that no. just, it just happens, and it's a funny story later. I had it coming, though. Yeah. I was robbing people. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had a fight when I was in high school. Uh, me and this kid on my basketball team were both freshmen, and we uh, were arguing about who played the most. We both didn't play. 
<laughs> we both got in for one for, play and for, then got out. For basketball? For basketball. Oh, okay. And then we were arguing. I was like, wait, man. He said, bitch, you don't even play. I said, nigga, we was in the same time. We got out the same time. What do you mean? We, don't, we both don't play. Bitch. We're both we on arguing. the court for 27 seconds. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. counted. Dog, I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? We ran up that bitch three times. It was over. Yeah. And then uh, we, was, we was arguing. We was arguing. He was, he was, he was probably built a little bit maybe taller than you, built like you. Yeah. But like maybe like maybe like uh, maybe like 6'1". Like okay. 14. Big dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we were... Um, he was like, man, go to the bathroom, we're gonna fight in the bathroom. We was having a way game. He was like, fight me in the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom and I'm I'm tagging his ass. I mean, I'm really beating the shit. I'm like, oh, I'm really beating his <laughs> yeah, ass. I'm with And so I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm finna go for the razzle dazzle. So I went to go pick him up. Oh. And that was the stupidest shit uh -huh. I've ever done. I I'm I was smaller than what I am right yeah, now. Yeah, he got a hold of you. Oh Jesus, did he get a hold of me? <laughs> Did he get a what? <laughs> he sat on you. Bro, yeah, no, he, it's he, over. he grabbed my waist and it was from the power bomb me. And then my teammate, my teammates stopped him. They were like, you don't kill Cam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't, hey, don't kill Cam. Okay. Hey, wait, wait, you do, what are you doing? You gonna kill him? You gonna murder him? That's it, funny. Bro, it was it was so it was so hilarious. Like think back, like I, we got, I got we both got kicked off the team. Uh -huh. And the best is the, the coach uh he 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 saw the video because we had like laptops in my school. Uh, so, so like he people was holding a laptop <laughs> recording like like this, dog. And so he saw the video, and then he was like, "Yeah, both y'all off the team." And then he left. The dude I fought left the room, and my coach was like, "Why did you try to pick him up? <laughs> <laughs> you were winning." Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> and you were like, you were punching him up like oh, that. And I was, I was kicking his ass, dog. <laughs> it wasn't even like no question. I was like, "Oh, like I'm winning." I saw the guy. I was like, "I'm winning this fight." <laughs> That's probably like the first fight I was really gonna win. Yeah. Cause the other ones was like, oh, you can call it, but I was like, this is the one. I'm. This yeah, is this it. is first. And he's bigger than you, yeah. so you were gonna get to go around. So I was from, swinging. Oh, but I've dog. If I would have been able to pick him up though, dog. <laughs> that would, it would have been oh, cool. That should have been less dare as fuck. <laughs> that would have been like a movie. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Everyone's in the background. Cam. Cam, Cam. <laughs> I've only been in one fight. It's like in the eighth grade. Yeah. Uh, me and my buddy, uh, me and my buddy Gus were sitting in the library, like back against the wall, looking at books, but we really had like the, my dad's hustlers magazines. And it, so we had stole, so we were just in there, and some guy, some kid, um, walks up to me that I had never even knew, like, and just said, uh, called me a bitch and said that uh, my mom is trailer trash, and then ran out of the library. So me and Gus like closed the books. Like, we're gonna and, kick this guy's and, ass. And I, like, I followed him out, and I ran around the library, went out into the quad, and he was just like running out there. And I just walked up to him, and I was like, "What? What do you got to say?" And he's like, "Whatever." And he put his hands up like that, and so I, my dad just told him, like, "If you could defend yourself," so I just like threw like three punches and knocked him down, and the teacher stopped it and we won had then i had to go to detention with them for like two weeks yeah and at detention you ride the late bus the late bus would drop you off right in front of your house and they dropped garth off first at a trailer park oh. and i lived in a house so I was like, oh. you went, your mom lives in a trailer park <laughs> you piece of shit i was like i was like who lives in a trailer now <laughs> nicholas is like who's projecting yeah that's funny you, <laughs> who's projecting so y'all had, had real detention yeah you like, know, it was you like seventh grade. No, it wasn't eighth grade. It was seventh grade. Nah, we were getting nah, Dude, nah, we yeah. had Saturday school. Yeah, yeah we, I didn't. We had I, that I shit always too. heard about that shit. We never had like Wong yeah. Farm. We never had it. It was like uh, we would still go to class. Okay. Whatever, like whatever. We would still go to school, but you would just be in a room. So yeah. like when I was getting trouble like middle school and shit, it was called it was called ISS or so in school. Oh suspension. yeah yeah yeah. That's yeah. what we called it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we yeah. would just we would just sit in a room. We with also the, had a I went, to, I went to schools that had that, but yeah. then for some reason, this uh, middle school I went to, they yeah. had straight up detention, yeah. where you would just go and sit on. You they had all the desks set up on the the stage in the theater, like slash cafeteria, and you yeah. would just sit there and uh, like on stage in the cafeteria, an empty cafeteria. Right. So weird. I said, hey. Yeah. And then other than that, fighting with my little brother, you know. Like, yeah. But that, I mean, it was that was never. That don't even never count. Like yeah, fighting your siblings don't really count. I made him cry like one time, like embarrass him in front of his friends because I was like 18 <laughs> and he was like 14. He had all he had like three of his friends over and he was trying to like antagonize me and act like, like look cool in front of his yeah. friends. And he kept fucking with me and I just like grabbed him. I like, grabbed him by the head and I just like took him to the ground and right in front of his friends just started like baby smacking him. It, well, stop just, hitting yourself. Like, stop it, hitting yourself. Uh, I just kept doing it with my hands. I was just like, yeah, you tough now? You tough? And he's like, there you go. Then he started screaming. I just wouldn't let him go. And my mom came out and saw She's like, Nicholas, what are you doing? I was like, he deserves this. <laughs> he's got it coming. That's so funny. And he started Nicholas, crying. Stop. And then I let him go and he ran up. He's like, oh, you're an asshole, Nick. And he like ran off crying in front of his friends. I was like, but don't try and act like an asshole to me. <clears throat> But me and my brothers are actually really close. But yeah. I think after that, he realized, like, yeah, I won't hit you because dad will hit me. Yeah, but you I have can a, still embarrass you. <laughs> are you the middle? I'm the oldest. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you should beat up the fucking 14-year-old. 
Yeah, but when your dad's like, you touch him, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. For real? That's yeah, right. My stepdad was like Hey, that. are those yeah. glasses, those don't have anything. Just, these are just... They have lenses, yeah. Let me try them. No. Let me try them. No, you're fucking sweaty. Uh uh Yeah. I'm going to show y'all the video. I'm only a little I'm sweaty right now. I'm that with my cousin. Keep talking to us so I can find it. Yeah. But it's if, a, you, uh, if you send it to Nick, he'll be able to... Uh, oh, Ed, He'll put it in later. Yeah, yeah that's pretty funny. Um, um, but, uh, yeah, um, I remember... Uh, if, if we're still gonna talk about some fighting stuff, dude. Yeah, bring it up. I remember the first time I got arrested was because I defended my mom to my stepdad. Oh yeah, we mm-hmm. talked about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I got arrested though, and I had been pooping, uh-huh. and I didn't wipe good, and so, <laughs> so when I, I like I said I had been pooping. <laughs> Well, this, 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 this broke out while he was on the toilet. So yeah. He got up and, like, oh, okay, okay, he, okay, my okay, stepdad okay. pushed my mom. Oh yeah. Fuck and like, and, and I was like, oh fuck that. So I didn't wipe good. Yeah, yeah. Please. And so I got arrested though. And when I went to jail, so you know, they you shower, but but they forgot about me. So I'm just naked in the shower room with no towel. They didn't give me a towel. So I just like put the clothes on. You know, which is gross to just put clothes, you know, their clothes. Yeah. Yeah. And then the next day, it was a weekend. So that Saturday just happened to be laundry day. And I remember I put my underwear in the thing and it was just shit. Oh. All in the underwear. You didn't wash your oh, when you were in the shower? Yeah, and it didn't help. It just, you didn't wash? I wa- mace, I wa- mace, yeah, but there's no, no soap. I just, I just rinsed what? off, essentially. So yeah, but you wouldn't. You didn't. You could wipe your ass. You could wipe I, your I, ass. I, 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 I you like know you obviously no. didn't. <laughs> nah, it was shit. Nah, it wasn't. You didn't. Nah. <laughs> if I ran correctly, you know, you, you stare <laughs> shit in your ass. So, <laughs> there's no way in the hell you wipe well, your ass. Water will take that off. Yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe water I was, does get shit off. <laughs> I might have been. Maybe I was stressed out. Uh, well, maybe you were yeah. in jail at 19 years old with your stepdad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then they put us in the same fucking pod. Oh, that's fucking stupid. So I'm in there with the, my stepdad, and then that fucking motherfucker came and sat with me and went, I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck you, you piece of shit. We're in jail because of <laughs> you because right of now. you, you asshole. You fucking dirty. <laughs> Get away from me. Yeah, my phone. Make you smell my up. shitty underwear. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Uh, and that was the that was the worst county. Come to find out, that was the worst county jail in Arkansas. It was uh, Benton Benton County, I believe. And uh, uh, they don't let you sleep. You have to. They make you get up and sit in the day room. And there's no TV. There's no clock. Nothing. All you can do is read a book or just like. So why don't let you sleep? Because they, they're just the mean people. Yeah, people like that are fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> at least in Pope County, in my hometown, they have TVs. Call Pope. Pope County is where I'm from, oh, yeah. Okay. And you can, they have TVs and you can sleep all day if you want. They don't bother you. Yeah. All right, this is the video of my cousin. I'm going to send it to you. This video of my so God damn it, my phone is broken, so it just does what it wants sometimes. Like, it's a ghost on it. But yeah. This, uh, um, so my cousin, I was talking shit to him. He's like my big brother. And we would always, I would always, it was me and my dog and, and my, uh, my other homeboy, we was always coming back from a skating rink. And I was just, I was just cutting like, man, you a bitch. You just, all you got on the money, you just, you a bitch. Fuck you. And I was just cussing him out and shit. And then he just got up and just did this. Dude, shut up. What? Say sorry. Say sorry. Say sorry. <laughs> yep, that's me. Wait, you're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. <laughs> Wait, you're on the ground. That's me. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. I like the, the, uh, <laughs> what was that movie? What is that movie? Uh, uh, I don't remember. Cause that, uh, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't they, remember that movie. That sounds so familiar. It's a, uh, it was like a TikTok trend for a minute. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Like, do that, do um, some shit. But yeah, they do it in a few movies. Yeah, they, but I don't know which. Like they do that setup. They look right, like, right. Wonder how I got in this mess. They, it's, a, it's like a positive setup. Right. Yeah. Cool. Here, do me a favor. Let's take the Chick Fil A stuff off the table. Fuck Chick Fil A, <laughs> <laughs> or Chick Fil A sponsor the podcast. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They're really gonna love us. Miller Lite. Miller Lite. What'd you yeah. say? No, I was just gonna say, what are you gonna yeah. talk to Miller? And Lite. here's Miller our, Lite. Here's our here's our daily plea. If yeah, please, home. please sponsor the podcast, Miller Lite. Please. Yeah, breakfast of champions, a Come fine on, we'll pilsner, talk to them both. Uh, and also we got merch now. You gotta hold it up. Look at that. Yeah, we got probably like we got the coffee. This cups. probably one of the best mug I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, yeah. look pun- at that. We got we the got Punisher this. himself. We got big shit energy right there. Yeah, Punisher this is himself. Hard. Then we got, we these... got the the high noon official cool high noon shirts. pint glass. Cool new shirt to put your Miller Lite in. Put your to put your Miller Lite yeah. in. And you can go to uh, Teespring. We'll put the put the link in the uh, the bio or description or yeah, whatever. Probably. Fuck. Cool. Uh, no, I'll try to remember. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we got got the shirts now. Yeah, we're good. Um, we're golden. Oh, so speaking of, so Cam, you know what? You know what that molecule is? That's the guy the THC molecule. That's uh, acid. Oh, I knew that. You ever done acid? <laughs> no. no? You want to? No, I'm okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm good. I, 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 I give everyone boy. I give everyone their first hit for free if you oh, want to try I'm it. I'm okay. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> it might, it, you know, you might yeah. get to like, hey. I don't know, see rocks in a different light. My dog did it when he was in college and he was like fine his whole life. And then, oh, no. Yeah. And then he had nice schizophrenic. Oh, no. <laughs> for real. So that, that, that's, that's a risk you take, but. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> That's, that's not a good. That's not a good risk. Well, so here's here's what I tell like, everybody. Yeah, man, you you might take this drug and you might lose half your arm, but no. you know, you'll be here's, fine. Here's what I tell everybody. So I've done acid. I started doing acid when I was 18. Yeah. And uh, I've probably taken more. I've ate well over 100 hits of acid. But if you think about it, let's pretend it's right at 100. Mm. I've had seven like doozies, like that were not good, you know. But that's a 93 percent success rate. Yeah, but this nigga took acid once. Yeah. And well, that's now it. schizophrenic. I mean, he probably had a history of that in his family. Yeah. He should have done research. <laughs> Coming from the guy that it's won't even do, he won't even do his own twenty three and me. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna clone us. Uh they're not getting. Y'all seen a Muslim movie on Netflix called They Clone Tyrone? I just watched uh, that. Uh, <laughs> that was good, right? Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Fa- I, I I fell asleep halfway through. That was fucking good. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna rewatch it though. It's so, it was it's pretty so good from the beginning. It's funny. They're like, shit. that's you, Tyrone. <laughs> yeah, it's funny as shit. Though. Yeah, uh, Jamie Fox is it? Have you seen it? No, my mom stopped paying for the family Netflix account. Oh, oh what a oh. Oh. So I just, she just hasn't renewed it. So yeah, mean, I, maybe just means she hasn't been watching it because as soon as she goes to turn it on, and sees that it's done, she'll renew it. I'm really hoping. I'm not gonna call her up. Just be like, turn it back. On. Yeah, like, yeah, shit. yeah. I use all of Janice's, uh, all her stuff. Nice. What up, Janice? Um, Janice is my mom. She lo- loves the podcast. Hell yeah. What's up, Ma? How you doing? Yeah, she's the uh, number one listener. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime is. something's wrong, she's like, you need to tell Nick that this happened. <laughs> Thanks, oh, that's dope. Yeah, she checks our shit for us. That's Thank so her. cool. Yeah. Man. That's our QA yeah. Yeah. My mom, do, my mom, the same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You called your mom, or your mom called you randomly yeah, on the podcast, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, every time on, a, every time she come on the podcast, I tell her I'm gonna call her back. But now she, just, every time she call me, I'm doing the podcast, I answer. She be like, "Well, ask me a question." Yeah. <laughs> yeah ask me about it. what you want to know about Cam. What yeah. you want to yeah. know about my son? Yeah, that's awesome. I tell you about my son. Yeah, he's an active young man. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a little lion. I'm like, oh, but that's cute oh it's because you bite people yeah, they were. yeah. <laughs> hey uh what did you do uh before comedy what were you doing like after high school i was uh i was, I was trying to be a drug dealer but i was pretty horrible at it at, but what were the like good like what drugs Every, everything just whatever yeah whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what do you time. when you say you weren't good at it was it because you got caught no, I just I just didn't have no drive for it. You know okay. Like, something I do every day, I got at least had a drive for it. Like, I was making good money. I was fine and shit. But it was yeah. like, I don't like this. I don't, I don't enjoy it. I was around murderers every day. That shit wasn't fun. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, murderers not fun. Murderers think they fun people. They're not fun people. Right. And then, you ever sat in a room with a murderer? Yeah. Having a good time? Yeah, well, they, and, and not having a... I, I was nervous. Yeah, but no, but they having a great time. Oh, yeah, because they're insane. Yeah, they're just like, yeah, nigga. I mean, one time we were sitting around, and he was like, the one dude I know, he was like, hey, man, you know, uh... These niggas keep trying me like I won't kill somebody. And he just started laughing. I'm like, he's laughing because he's right. He yeah, will. He's yeah. Done you know what I'm right. No, right. I don't want to be here. This is horrible. Yeah, it, dude, when you're you're right though, dude. And in my hometown, I was in some sketchy fucking situations. Yeah. Uh one time we we broke into this guy's house and like took like just a bunch of so back in this time it was like big big screens had just came out. Yeah. So like we had stole like his flat screen and like, this is so long ago and like a laptop and I uh, didn't find any money or drugs. We just like, kind of stole stuff, you yeah, know? Yeah. And I remember it was so dumb. Cause it's like, there was only going to be a, we were the newest people that he had just brought over. So it's like, it was no. so stupid. Yeah. But when you're in the midst of, uh, you know, doing meth and taking Xanax, you just are so confident yeah. that you're like, no one's ever going to know. And I remember, we, ro- we, we broke into this guy's house uh, and we got away with it. Like yeah. two weeks went by and the dude hit us up and was very calm and was like, hey, you guys want to come over and like we'll, we'll get high and all this shit. And we're so fucked up. We're like, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Let's just go over there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And we go over there and I remember he brought us into his room and shuts the door behind him and locks it and pulls a knife out and goes, I know you motherfuckers robbed my house. He goes, put these on, and threw a set of zip ties at us. 
And I just remember I went, fuck you. I was like, we can go out and fight. And my buddy just goes, I'm sorry, man. I'm going to get you a new TV right away. And I was like, shut the fuck up. We didn't rob your house. We didn't rob your house. (laughs) And he ended up, he's like, no, put these zip ties on it. I wouldn't do it. I was like, we can go outside and we can fight right now in the yard. You can kick my ass, but I ain't putting the fucking zip ties on. (laughs) And and my buddy's like almost in tears. Yeah. And the dude just goes, all right, we'll go get me a TV. And he like, let us go. And we just never came back. (laughs) That's genius. (laughs) Yeah. That's, but I was like, you're gonna have to fucking stab me. I'm not putting those fucking zip ties on. That's that's really shit though. Yeah, it was crazy. He and then what's funny is months later, my buddy got arrested and uh, was in jail, and that dude was in there and uh, was trying to kick his ass, but my, my buddy wouldn't go to the the spot where there was no cameras. He wouldn't do it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't either if I was your size. Yeah, now he's small. Yeah, oh, he was like a tweak. He was like a tweaker. That's karma, instant karma, though. Yeah, <laughs> going I mean, to jail and then being in jail with a guy you robbed. Oh, absolutely, dude. Yeah. I've had so much instant karma. Like, I got street uh, justice. That's oh, right. I've had Good so street much street death. justice, and I never was like, oh, that was too much. Like, I always knew. Yeah, I had that coming. Like, yeah. it was just a matter of time. Especially, you know, you're in a small town. Well, you think you're never going to see these people? Like, you're robbing people that you sell drugs to. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's well, retarded. People, well, people I know when I was a kid, when people I know would do things, they would go to different Uh-huh. Counties. We, did, we didn't, uh... <laughs> yeah. We would, we, would, we would never do... They, they would never do shit in the county they live yeah, in. Yeah, they don't yeah. shit where you eat. Yeah. You know, and then we're we just... always go to a different county. Yeah, we're just so... We were just so fucked up, you know? Yeah. You're not thinking straight. You know, <laughs> so when you were selling drugs, did you do drugs too, or not really? I smoke a lot of weed. I smoke a lot of weed. That's it, that though. You it. never dabbled in anything nah, else. I would never like. Well, that's uh, the best kind of drug dealers, the yeah. ones that don't do the shit that they're selling. You know, don't don't get high on your own supply. But I mean, I, I was selling a lot of weed, a lot, a lot more weed than anything. But I had a lot of other shit. But I was selling yeah. a lot more weed than anything. Gotcha. But I was, but I was smoking like a chimney. Smoking your, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, just, I was smoking like a chimney. Yeah, it's insane. Like, yeah, we uh, one time we had a New Year's Eve party, yeah. and we had just gotten fronted a QP, and we had these all these chicks over, all these girls over, and we were just passing weed out and just letting people roll blunts. And the next day we woke up and we're like, I was like, Matt, how much did you smoke of that of that QP? He had two ounces, I had two ounces, and he goes, I don't have any. And I was like, fuck, let me look and see if I have any. I had maybe a quarter left, and that we we're fucked. Yeah. That was seven hundred dollars worth of weed, just yeah. Don J. gone. And then uh, that dude was on the look for uh, out for us for a while, <laughs> and we had to avoid that guy. Yeah. That's so funny, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> but yeah, that doing that shit, it just that's a lot of stress, a lot of bullshit and stress that come with it. You know what I'm saying, right? And so okay, so but then you started comedy. Yeah, so I was doing uh. So the day I took comedy like really serious, like on some real shit, the day I took comedy really serious, somebody could say like my brother, he had gotten a, a shoot out at the gas station. That would be at, like the day I took comedy serious. And I really? would have been there. Like <clears throat> if I wanted to come out of death, I would have damn sure been there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So and did was, he go to prison? No, nah, I mean, nah, he's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, nah, we, 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 we get shot every day. Yeah. <laughs> Things happen, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, he ain't shoot nobody. Oh, okay. He just shot the gun. No, he didn't, know. He didn't shot the gun. No. He was just there when it happened. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But you could have easily been there and caught a bullet. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, the burp? Nothing. <laughs> Hi, Bill. But, Dude, yeah. I don't know why he's being annoying as shit. <laughs> nah, he's perfect. Nothing's more annoying than the co-host not buying a new fucking chair for months. Well, actually, I think this might be the new look. You better. It's a brick. Re- I can't even see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, no. a, it's a wooden, wooden block. block. I'm sitting on a wooden block. You can uh, sit is on it, it. Is it comfortable? You like it? Yeah. I'm, <clears> it, feels good, it feels keep, good on I your keep back. I to fix my posture. <laughs> you should sit in there. Yeah, just like, I keep no, getting well, I got down. a chair. Well, you, well, no, you gave him the broken chair. <laughs> And nigga, good guy, cause I was sitting in that chair first. <laughs> <laughs> it, went, it went all the way. I gave it to you because I was like, it's gonna yeah. break today. I yeah. just had the feeling I was like, I want it to be Mason. So bad. That's a good. Uh, that wasn't real. Uh, maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. Who we'll never knows? Hey, yeah. stolen valor. <laughs> I think it sounded pretty real. You know what I mean? uh, um, yeah. Dude, <laughs> I bet you, uh, dude. So many, so many times. Just the other day. 
I'm like, because I don't think about it. Yeah. Like when I'm burping, because I wake up and I just, it's on. Yeah. Burping and farting and. Being gross. Yeah. Just yeah. like <laughs> all the time. Oh, that was great. Why'd you? <laughs> Ain't no sound I, I hate. know you <laughs> just swallowed that loogie too. That's yeah. So what am I going to do with it? You know a sound I hate? Y'all ever heard somebody do that? <laughs> oh, I do that a lot. I do this though. I go. That's light though. But it's it's racking yeah. holes in my city that get their ear like this. Start doing this right hand. <laughs> I don't. I can't say I've ever seen that. <laughs> but that's it. Yeah, they, I do the light. Uh, they do it light. Man, people, what people, I hate that shit. Yeah, you know? um, it's cool to do though. But I hate. Do you? I hate do you hawk loogies? Yeah, I look, yeah. yeah. Do you spit them or swallow them? Uh, it depends on the day. It depends if it's got boogers in it, right? Yeah, you yeah, boogers. Gonna make me no, if it's hard. got boogers in it, I'll chew them up and then spit it out. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are gross. Talk to what you mean? So gross. So badly function, brother. Yeah. And then, <laughs> so piss not down us. Not so not yeah. your shit. It's, it's real close. It's so close. It has to be. Right it can't out. be bad for you. Yeah, I mean, I'm not it's saying probably it's a closed you. loop system. Yeah, man. <laughs> that ain't shit coming from down here, man. It's all you. Yeah. 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 I'm not saying I'm eating my cum or anything. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Hey, but every kid when you're little and you come for the first, everyone licks it once. Oh, you a fucking liar. <laughs> you a goddamn Mason. You better speak for yourself. Man. Oh yeah, I'm just kidding. I never did that. <laughs> <laughs> I said everybody, everybody do that shit. No, no the fuck they don't. <laughs> no the hell. N- Nicholas doesn't uh, like gross stuff. Oh I, yeah. No, just Mason just makes everything gross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Uh, it's called being a man. No. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, but like, but like, like being gross, or like eating your own cum. No, yeah. I, that's just uh, I, I don't eat my own. Right cum. Now concept. we're talking about right now. Yeah, that's what you said. You've done it. I just as a kid, you're like, huh? Nah. Mm-mm. Like I wonder, and then you just go. Nah. Now I would tell you, I beat my beat one time. I land down, and I got it shot up real far, and it got in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Janice exclaimer on this one. <laughs> Hey, but hold on one more real quick. One time, uh, I came in this girl's mouth, and she went she went like this. Ah, oh, tastes like gasoline. That's hilarious. That's funny because girls will tell you that. Girls will tell you what you shit tell you like, like I was drinking a lot of water for a couple weeks. And girl oh, for like, a couple weeks. Like, yes, that's not you got to stop. And yeah. then she's like, oh, it tastes it tastes so good, it tastes sweet. I'm like that's crazy. Yeah. And then one girl was just like, this it just tastes like. Uh, it was a it was a uh, a TikTok uh, thing that was going around. We were just like, oh, uh, it's spicy. Oh, <laughs> it was a, a bitch just saying that it was such, she, whatever she had was spicy. Yeah, they, yeah, they say the whole pineapple thing. I don't know if if that's real. That if you eat pineapple, your cum tastes good. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I would never fucking. It's kind You've of you've already you, done it. You've when you admitted when to it. Yeah, so when yeah, it when I was like, like seven. You remember? Uh, you no, I just sure, I think I remember it being salty. You also would blow a trans person. So. Yeah, you did. Oh, say, you would you, blow a trans person. Well, but it would have to be. See, this is the thing. It's not just. No, but it's, I'm it's not talking one of these '90s trainees, okay? We I'm know what you're talking. We know what you're talking. 2023. About. It looks like a beautiful dime piece, but she just happens to have a penis. And you would <laughs> suck a dick. Probably progressive. Yeah, I'm progressive. an ally. No, Fuck, you guys are transphobes. Yeah, yeah. Pro- well, I'm not, I, and listen, I wouldn't do it. I'm not trying. I wouldn't do it, <laughs> but I'm not knocking you for doing it. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, yeah what I just the want fuck? you to just admit to what you're actually doing. Yeah. Because no, because I want people to know it's not just any one of them. It's, it's a beautiful. It lady has to be one that looks like a beautiful with a woman, dick. but with. <laughs> Yeah, hey, man. That, yeah, but that's... Do you, so the... <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Life. Oh, yeah. Don't care what makes me feel you. better about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah you can be Be your life, killer. You feel me? <laughs> Would I do it? No. Hey, yeah. You do it, do what you love. Yeah. yeah. You're, yeah. Just, you're just trying to explain it in a way that makes you not gay. Which, well, it's not gay. There's wow. a... There's, it's not gay. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's gay. <laughs> <laughs> it will. Yeah, see, I mean, it I is a lady. It. It's a lady. It's a lady with a dick. I don't know. <laughs> well, we put that on the spectrum. Socially, it's a lady. Scientifically, it's not. No, but it is a lady. Hey, you clearly don't know. But uh, if you like it, if you like it, I love it. Yeah. Right, man. And I'm not Guaranteed. transphobic. I'm not afraid of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, they could probably kick my ass. I ain't gonna talk shit about it. Um, oh, I just saw a really funny fucking. I don't remember it well enough to tell it. God damn it! Nice, good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I had some other stuff uh, planned to talk about. I'm forgetting yeah. it. Uh, 
God damn it. Uh, oh, but yeah, so how's it been since you've been uh, the new regular on Kill Tony? Shit been cool, man. Shit yeah. Been, shit been cool to shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of shit, I, you know what I'm saying? When you, when you put your arm to something and this shit starts happening, it's like, oh, okay, cool. I made the, cool, right? I made the right decision and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. By the way, what? who, why, I, obviously you... <laughs> Oh, I spit in my mouth a little bit. Uh, I know that. You, you, why did you move to? And I, obviously, I know that you know there was comedy here. But what? Yeah. What was the big decision to move? Did you visit Uncle Laser? No shit. Swear to God, every time I tell somebody that shit, they do not believe me. Really? Swear to God. What you saw him online? Nah, he. Uh, I ain't. I ain't know who he was at first. And then um, they called me to my uh, people in Tampa doing the show. He, he he had sold out a weekend like a little eighty seater. That I would always be at, and then the owner called me. He was like, "Hey man, it's called the gimmick." And uh, in Tampa, he was like, "Hey man, uh, dude, now Uncle Leslie's gonna come through. Want you to come through and feature for him?" Oh, okay. I'm like, "Hell yeah, yeah, I pull up. I'm there, right?" And so uh, I go, and uh, Laser uh, sees me the first night and was like, "Hey man, you a fucking hilarious, you know? Like, uh, if you care about your comedy career, move your ass to Texas, like right now." And yeah. I was like, "Well, I go check it out. Crazy mullet, man. You feel me?" Cause I, I, I ain't never seen nobody like this before. So I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, yeah. And now, when I, I came out, I visited, and then um, I was like, oh yeah, there's no point in going home. So yeah, laser, laser, um, it really helped me a lot. Yeah, like, Hell that's yeah, awesome. okay, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Were you uh, were you that's living with uh, with White Cam in Look, Florida? No, 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 I met him out here in the line. Oh, I thought you knew him. For, I thought he I was from Florida. I knew him vaguely. Yeah, I knew him. We, we, we saw each other in passing like twice. So he also is from Florida. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But he moved here like uh, like in December. Okay, he and was I, already here. Yeah, he was already here. And I saw him in the line for the for the mothership. <sighs> and we were just, we, we just happened to be in the, in the line, at the end of the line together. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. And it's just, you and him have a place, right? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. But <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's was a wet one. That was a good one. Um, that's fucking crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you and it's uh, how long? How long you been here total? Like three months. That's crazy. It's in April. What and is it? A it's lot. Three or four. So who? Uh, three. So did uh, before you became a regular on Kill Tony? Did you get your name pulled? Yeah, he pulled me out of the bucket. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. then and then just kind of went for and then he hit me. He pulled me out of the bucket and then he hit me up and he was like, uh, when they did the team, he was like, hey man, you want to be new regular on Kill Tony? Sick. Twenty minutes later, they hit me up for the dog guy shit. Nice. That's so that awesome. Shit at, like the same day at the same time. Like, hey man, that's nice. fucking cool as shit, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, something funny too that you told me uh, a few months, a couple months ago, you went back to Florida and did two competitions. Yeah. And won both of them. Well, I, and then they said you can't come back. Yeah, so I um I did one, I did one um before I left, and I won. And then it was one for seven fifty. So this is how this is how the competition was. I'm doing this play called Coast Cradle, and uh, I won one for hundred dollars. Then I won one for one fifty. Then I won one for uh I think two fifty. Then I won one for five hundred, and I won, then I won one for uh seven fifty. But the one for seven fifty, I was here. So that was the last one I did. I was here, so I had to fly back to do right, it. Right, right, that's right. Yeah. And then and they, they said, like, yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> you can't come back. <laughs> we love to have you back and pay you, but yeah, the competition's kind of... Yeah, you're... <laughs> but in the competition, the people that do it, because it's like, it's like Tampa All-Stars, they, they, I don't know why they did it. They are fucking hilarious people. But it's yeah. always like, it's like uh, three people that always win it. Was this like at the, uh, the is there an improv? Nah, this is a place called Coach Creator. They actually finna do their own comedy festival or something. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and uh, oh, it's yeah. like a, it's like a, it's like a big ass warehouse. It's kind of, it, that's what, uh, Bobby, uh, fuck, it's the dude, uh, he was here recently. Uh, bald, bald dude, big, um. Bobby. Fuck, maybe it's not Bobby, but he's a, mm, he was on Joe Podcast a couple months Robert back. Kelly? Robert Kelly. Oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. He shot yeah. his special there. That's oh, he yeah, the he's so oh, funny. He's a bo- yeah. he's from Boston. Yeah, so he shot his special in, um, at Coast Creator. Oh, so cool, cool, like cool. The one, and that's the one Louie directed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where he shot it at. That's so cool. Yeah. So, Hell yeah, dude. That's fucking awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Orlando scene's pretty small, yeah? Pretty small, but it's good for building up, getting better. Is and there shit. a club there? The Orlando Improv. Okay. Okay, and in, is there also an improv in Tampa too? Yeah, they got they got that. They got they got way more clubs than that. Okay, yeah, they got the the, uh, the Tampa improv. They got side splitters. They got the side splitters Western Chapel, which is like thirty <clears throat> minutes away from Tampa. They got the coastal shit, which is in St. Pete, which is like thirty minutes away. Okay, yeah. have you ever done the uh, the club down in the Keys? It's a Key West Comedy Club. You no, ever done that? I done Naples. Oh, okay, I hate well, Naples. Uh, Tom Dustin is a Boston comic, and uh, he owns that the Key West Club. Oh shit! And uh, he's making a documentary right now. 
about like that whole just like moving there and starting that club and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see it. Oh, that's hot. Hell yeah, dude. That's fucking cool as well, shit. My cousin lives out in Key West. We should go, dude. I'm. Di- I think I would love Key West. We should go, dude. I, I, know, I, I know, would go. I would. I would plan a trip. I would plan a trip 100, percent and I'll reach out and see if we can get on at uh, the Key West Comedy Club or dude, whatever. The, the three of us go, dude. Let's do it. Let's the three of us go. My cousin will take us all on his boat. We can ride uh, Vespas around, yeah, right? Isn't that? I got a work later. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll take care of it. One is fine. More yeah. for more for me. Definitely. Uh, but uh, if yeah, did you want? Do you smoke weed? Nah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I took a hit earlier. I'm good. Nice. Um, yeah. So uh, your your uh, new door guy at Mothership, that's going good. Yeah, man, you've been killing it. Everybody loves loves you there. I love, cool. I love everybody. I love everybody in the building, dog. Yeah, it's nice yeah, place. yeah. It's oh nice. yeah, and you've been uh, foot racing in the alley for yeah. some reason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you I, I wasn't white, gonna yeah. bring it up, dude. I'm like, you let a white it? guy beat you. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> what, man. What's going on shout with out, that? Shout out box office Logan. Yeah, dude. shout out Logan. You know what I'm saying? He got me. Is he a comic? That's not a comic. Nah, right? oh, yeah, actually, I have a, I have actual footage from. Oh, the we don't race. have to see that at all. Oh, we'll can we? Oh, oh, we'll put, it, oh, we'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, put that no. in. Post. No, he brought it. There's no it. need. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? there's no need for that. Nah, he got me though. That nigga was fast, dude. Bro. I, dude, I don't even remember the last time I ran. Foot racing is fun. You know what's crazy? So we started. I said, "Cause John thought you could beat me in a race, and John's actually fast. John has fast as shit. John Shout who? Out, John John Heff. Yeah. He John fast. Heft is fast. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he fast. The first really? time we raised, I didn't tie my shoes and we almost tied. That's how fast he is. That's and crazy. And then the next time we raised, after the, after I, I definitely got tied my shoes. But he is fast. He's not slow. And then uh, so we were raised because of that. And I was like, oh, it'd be cool to raise all the door guys because we door guys. We all have fucked up lifestyles. We, yeah. we smoke all day. We, we drink all night. Like we don't have good lifestyles. And then when somebody with a good lifestyle jumped in the middle, well, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna win. And I was correct. Yeah, I couldn't. Oh, act like Logan's I like a, a health no, nut. No, he's just, he's he's not as he's not in, he's not out of shape. He's not yeah. like he's not like a ripped dude. Like he's not a big muscular dude, but he's in but shape. He's in shape. And his confidence, his confidence was. It was, it, it was disrespectful. It was, it was insane. Really? <laughs> it was. I knew I was going to lose how confident he was without saying how confident he was. Well, when he was tying his shoes, I was like, oh. Bro, I knew I lost when he, <laughs> when he came to the race two minutes before the race started. <laughs> yeah, Nobody could find him, and he showed up right when the race started. What the <laughs> fuck was he? <laughs> well, he, well, he, he was he, playing he, mind games. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he lives across the street in the apartments up there, so he, was, he just went home and chilled and was hanging out at his house, kicking back. They were meditating Man, this <laughs> shit, dog. Dude, he lives He lives down there. He lives there, yeah. Nigga with this in a... Came out two minutes for the race start, tied his shoes, Scott and Mark, and did oh. this. I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make him listen to it. It's your hurt, man. <laughs> but yeah. He got me, bro. We'll put it in, dude. Yeah, but it was close. It was so close. This was such... I thought my angle was pretty good. They didn't use it in any of the mothership footage, so... It's... You had your shirt off, too. Yeah, he got me, though. Oh, he beat you pretty good. Yeah, he got yeah, me, though. He got, good, <laughs> he got me, though. The funny shit, my brother has no social media... No Facebook, no Twitter, no none of that shit. Like forty years old, he called me like two days later and go, "How you lose to a white man?" Oh, <laughs> that's the that opening line. Who told you? you. you know what <laughs> Who the fuck told you this shit? Uh, you, is it, you have a brother that's forty. Yeah. Uh, so how? Is well, he, he like he might like he might. Like, he might, he might be 26 through 40. But same know. mom or same dad? <laughs> same or, dad. Same dad. Oh no shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, then what's he do? Oh, uh, he, uh, he a writer. This could be Heritage, right? Yeah, what's your... We're gonna, we'll add it in. Hold on, we'll get to yeah? it. Hold on, this is not Heritage. You're just asking about his brother. That's not That's Heritage. Heritage. What's Heritage? Well, no, but no, it's not necessarily. <laughs> what are we talking about right there? He wants to do another dumb... It's a segment. Uh, so hold on. Let's segue into his new stupid-ass fucking segment. <laughs> Damn, what's going on, Damn, man? what is your... Heritage. 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 Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scariest shit. Bro, <laughs> I told you, dude. I didn't want to do when it. When you had a shirt off, when he had a shirt when I walked in, I was like, this is the scariest shit. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but that shit is terrible. Bro, you, you the hairiest nigga alive, dog. Bro, that's scary, dog. And why there's so much hair in the middle? <laughs> like, that's right, my little. It it's my, it's out. my it's lion. Lion. <laughs> This is my lion's mane. That's so terrifying. You know what's really, you know what's really terrifying? What? It's soft. Yeah, it feels good. Do you want to like, touch he's it? He's like, nah, I'm okay. And we used to work together at Vulcan. He'd come up and be like, Nick. And I'm like, hold on a second. And he'd grab it and go. 
Bill, go away. It's his thing, dude. He makes everyone touch it. No, yeah. that's insane. So you've been that you've had that your whole life? Uh well uh so my ex didn't really like it, so I would buzz it. Yeah. But when I moved here I just let it grow. Yeah. And now it's like a funny thing. Yeah. The funniest thing is that the back is equally as Yeah, yeah. So my, my it's pretty hairy too. He's Especially, where he wears a sweater. Uh, I'm growing it out right now to play tick back toe with it. So uh, at that game bang bingo at Vulcan, we're gonna make people uh, play tic tac toe in my back hair with a buzzer, and then the loser has to finish shaving my back. I love the look on your face right now. It's That's, so good. You want to see the back? Not really. It's getting. What you gonna it's, show me? It's getting pretty good. Jesus Christ. Dog, dude, it's a monster, <laughs> dude. It's a werewolf. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like That's ter- You know it's crazy. Seeing hair people is crazy to me because I'm not even like a hair guy at all. <laughs> yeah. like, I don't have hair on my legs, I don't have my arm. I only got hair on my under, I don't got hair on my armpits. Yeah. My whole life I'm waiting to get a hair on my armpits. Never got that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want that shit my whole life, dog. So you don't have a hairy butt? <laughs> nah, never. Well, that's good for wiping. Yeah. Oh, you got a yo, yo asshole hairy too? I'm hairy <laughs> from the eyebrows down. Dude. Fuck! Dude. No, <laughs> fuck. Look at his arms. It's just yo! Good. I'm surprised it's not on his That's why you had shit in your ass when you <laughs> say you not. It's, it's not because you didn't wipe the, the, the hair follicles <laughs> in your ass. Hey, just you, call hey, it. You know, we got a bidet now, though. I saw that. The boudet washer 3000. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That thing, a hey, game changer, dude. B- Sometimes I just sit and turn it on. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it massages my hemorrhoids. That's funny. Every <laughs> episode. Every episode. You always bring up hemorrhoids. I, I, really, uh, yeah. I really want a sponsor from a bidet. That'd be dope. You have one already. I mean, yeah. We got to work on sponsorship. Yeah, as soon as we time. get to the level where we're soon, allowed to As soon as we get five. Please like and subscribe to High <laughs> Noon on YouTube. We, we, we really need some more uh, uh, subscribers. Once we get 500, we'll be rolling in sponsors and bidets. Yeah, that's right. Gang violence. Gang yeah. violence. <laughs> Gang violence. Uh, let's see. What else? We do your segment, Nick. My segment? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. 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 I forgot. Oh yeah, it's been a minute. Okay, so this is my new segment that I like. So we're gonna segue into that with our segue music. Cam, I would like you to tell me and the rest of the audience, what's the, what's your favorite thing you've learned about Mason so far? <laughs> the tic tac toe shit was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be wild. Yeah, that's you, better, you better film that. <laughs> you have to. I bro. think he'll be yeah. there. Oh, cool. Yo, uh, that's the crazy shit. <laughs> that's the crazy shit. And I didn't. I didn't know you did meth. I thought I heard about oh, I've it. I've done a, a lot bit. of meth. Yeah, but I didn't know that. That's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, real shit, if somebody do drugs like that and that's good people in our life, that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever want to try it, we'll do it in, a, in an isolated <laughs> area. Hey, what's going on right now? Do not bring that guys down, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm glad you stopped that hard drug. Yeah, if you ever want to try meth, my nigga. <laughs> 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 yeah, we can figure this shit out. Yeah, I'm yeah. just looking for a reason to get back in. <laughs> yeah, I'm missing so much. <laughs> you Vulcan door guys need to just keep your grubby paws <laughs> off our money yeah. shift door guys. No, don't taint them. <laughs> All right, now it's Part two of the segment. Okay, talk to me. What's your least favorite thing you've learned about Mason? <laughs> the hair. <laughs> that, isn't that what Andre said, too? I think, or did I he, he said, no, remember. he didn't like the burps. He didn't like the burps. The burping yeah. is kind of crazy, too. Like, <laughs> and on some real shit, and the, the third time I did it, I was like, oh, this is getting weird now. <laughs> Cause now it's just random. When he did it first, I was like, what the fuck was that? I'm so, I'm so glad you told me. Yeah. Cause they don't even do it. I'm like, what, uh, what? Like, see, like, what the fuck is going on right now, bro? tell people that we do it into the vibe. Yeah, but also, I don't want people to want to come back and do it again. You know? I don't want people to leave here and be like, uh, I'm never doing yeah, that. Yeah, it was fun, but he just kept burping into the mic. At a random time, we're talking about, I'm like, my, my upbringing was crazy. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, my great grandma died. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that make you fun? <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Hell yeah, dude. I uh, remember the, when I first discovered that I could burp like that. Uh, I learned it from my grandpa. Yeah. Like yeah, a, and, uh, that's a grandpa thing for sure. Oh, yeah. And I figured out you got to use the diaphragm. You got to really push them. You got to push them out real big. Uh, I'm for the shit uh, myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure 
some people don't like it, but some people like it. Well, maybe, I guess. If, I mean, even if you don't like it, please still subscribe. <laughs> uh, uh, dude, who was it? We had John Carden, and he got, he's like, what the fuck? And it was you. <laughs> Where the hell did that was? Well, you did from? that shit the first time. I was like, what's going on right now? Um, yeah, I, uh, do you fart? Yeah. What fart, kind of question will is you that? fart? Will you <laughs> fart in front of a girl? Yeah, I fuck with her. Yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. How quickly will you nah. rip one? <laughs> oh, I mean, oh, whenever I feel like I have to. I took a shit in the bitch house one time. Yeah, how'd that fuck. go? Oh, it, it was stank, but I fucked her, so I won. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, I won. I had the shit so bad. You like, fucked I, her I, post, I, post shit. Post shit. Hell yeah. Post shit though. <laughs> I was shitting for like 20 minutes. Two wheels a good one. That's crazy. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, uh, I hate when they fight back, you know, when you got to really wrestle with one. Yeah. Those are also the ones where oh, it, it takes a lot of wiping. It was bad, but I had one. Uh, I heard a joke the other day uh, on a podcast. He said, uh, it's like like you got a permanent Sharpie shoved up your ass. Yeah, I hate and every that. time you wipe, it's just always there. The fact that it's shoved up, like, usually, I've heard it's like a marker. Yeah, it's a but sharpie, that's a, that's a marker. Level of yeah, you shoved it in your ass. Yeah, crazy. Gay. A shove, <laughs> sharpie. A shove <laughs> sharpie is insane. I don't need to put one. I can. I could go wipe right now, and there'd probably be a little poo. Did you just take a shower? I just took a shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, did you learn anything actually, from the jail story? Dude, actually, actually, now that now that I he got that, that water in his ass, though. Now that I got that bidet going, I bet my ass has never been cleaner. And it's probably Dude. still filthy. Oh my god! You know what I did? <laughs> oh, damn! Dude. Hold on. How how excited are you right now? Dude, I so I've been for years. I've wondered what my butthole looked like to, because of the because of the hemorrhoids. I've been you curious. still got hemorrhoids? Oh, I got three right now. How the fuck do you get hemorrhoids? Because I poop a lot, and so well, everyone poops. A lot. It's also a diet, and yeah, I have a terrible. Uh, I have a terrible. I eat Taco something. Bell once. A, Taco Bell Monday. And so I, we have this mirror on the wall back here, and I was home alone. I took a shower, and I was like, "I'm gonna look," and I looked, "Woof, it's bad." Your you ass is hairy. Oh yeah, with hemorrhoids, and I, I was curious what, what did it, it look like, like bubbles, kind of. Uh. Looked like, uh, cause I got that new one that I told you about, the flappy one. I mean, it's not new, but it's not new to anybody. Yeah. yeah. Well, f that's the newest one. To me. And then the bandit, right. which is my second butthole that farts come out of. Wait. wait and so wait, it looks like, uh, and it looks like a legit. Hey, I'll speed past that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so I have two buttholes because yeah. of hemorrhoids. Because they, years they, ago they, they like healed, and I think. And like, it healed in a weird way. Because yeah, so I got one of them under control, and it left me with a little. There's an air pocket. That farts come out in a different direction out of. Mesa, you are an interesting person. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, you were like a fucking book of like just what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I fucked you, because it's like you, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> you just said you have two different assholes <laughs> and one of them fart different. One of them, one of them fart just sneak up on you. Blah, 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 blah. What the fuck? Like one of your, one of your assholes tell a joke and the other one do like the little, the little, the little drugs. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dog, that's crazy. So I guess you don't have hemorrhoids. <laughs> nah. I don't think hey, so. you're too young. You'll get them. Damn. Actually, I had him at 23, 23, 24. Cool. Also, Nick's older than you, and he doesn't have them. He doesn't fucking party. <laughs> See, everybody has something bad. I always have to say, like, no, you don't do enough of this. I remember I, <laughs> when, I was, when, I was, when I was in high school, somebody was like, you got you got an STD yet? And I was like, no. I said, you don't fuck enough. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, I got a UTI one time because I fucked a girl in the butt with no condom. Oh. And uh, and I got a UTI from it. Oh, you got shit particles in your dick. Yeah. Right? yeah. Oh, well, you, that happens? Yeah. 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 Uh, and she was a gross Greek chick. Why'd you fucking ask? Because she was on her period and she liked butt stuff. Oh, and she didn't clean her ass? No. I mean, she was kind of a dirty girl. Yeah, well, Mason was kind of ass. a dirty boy at this time in his life. Yeah, I was like 22. <laughs> oh, you were just fucking in the hole. I had just moved to Boston and I was fucking whoever was willing. Yeah, whatever hole was open. Yeah. yeah. You were fucking there if you could. But I also, I, I never really, I never really fucked like, they might have been sluts and, and like, but they were still hot. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? But they were just like gross girls. Hot to what level? Like nothing where you'd be like, I'm going to marry this girl. Yeah. But hot enough where you're like, they got a banging body, nice tits, nice ass. Yeah. But she like, you know, doesn't pee after sex. Yeah. I, <sighs> what? <laughs> what a strange person. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah. Or your pH levels are off. Okay. I'm basically a doctor. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, do you have any questions, Cam? <laughs> you got any weird rashes health? you want him to look at? Yeah, yeah this is terrifying. <laughs> I just look at something, I go, that's not good. <laughs> what, can, what can I do about Doc? I don't know. I don't know, but it ain't good. I know that shit bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe go talk to someone. Yeah, yeah get, get a second opinion. Yeah, talk to like a real doctor, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> talk to, yeah, a god. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, should we do plugs? Yeah, let's do plugs. Uh, what you got, Cam? Uh, shit! Oh, I got a show in October, October thirteenth at um, Hyenas. Nice. In Fort Worth. Yeah. You have, you're headlining it. I'm doing the camera friends. It's twenty minutes. Oh, sick, dude! Yeah, I can't. I can't do more than twenty right now. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. Shit. Well, that's hey, shit. good for you for acknowledging that. Yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah dude. So that's it And then I got a new show Coming out I have no date yet Cause we ain't shoot shit for it But I know I'm gonna do it uh, it's, called, it's called Cam and the Whites Okay It's just me doing A bunch of white people shit Okay with my white friends You gonna are you, Is Uncle Laser Taking you out for that Nah it's me and Maverick Oh sick yeah, I love me Maverick. Maverick The co-host of the show Maverick's That's awesome. awesome Maverick's one of my favorite people Yeah so he's, it's gonna be It's gonna be We're going bull riding For one episode We just gotta shoot this Oh show. cool yeah, I'm gonna learn how to ride a bull my uh, That was the craziest one <laughs> right in the middle of his plugs, dick. <laughs> hey, Cam, where can people find you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. What, what's your social media, though? Oh, Cam, so funny with a, with a K with two O's for the show. And that's on everything except for Twitter, because I watch porn on there. <laughs> Why? Yeah, because it's awesome. Because Twitter has porn. Yeah. But there's Pornhub. But Twitter has porn. What's the difference? Uh, I'll show you. <laughs> but that's why I show you my whole Oh, okay. Feet. All right. <laughs> yeah. It's better. Oh, uh, that's what. Okay. Yeah. Is it more like regular people or something? Yeah. Okay. Let's point out more regular people. Okay. More sluts. One time I was scrolling through this bitch Twitter, and I, I, I like this bitch. Like, she's like she's one of my favorite new porn stars. And at one point, I was just scrolling, and she was just taking the shit. She have a but bidet? It was, like, it was like stop motion pictures. Like, she was taking the shit on like tenfold. Like, it's, it's disgusting. And you can see oil? like the shit coming out her booty. I'll show you. Oh. You can see. So you like so you like poop stuff. No, no he's just I saying would, it was on. It was just oh, there. Okay. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's and gross. I scroll some more. And I'm like, I'm happy again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're too young to remember. Do you know two girls, one cup? Ah, uh, when I was in sixth grade, that yeah. That's when you, and you saw it. I've never seen it. I've, I, I, I saw it. I saw it. Some of it, but I didn't know what was going on. I was in sixth grade, so I, I tried to. Like, like these ladies are just pooping. Yeah, but then they start. Then when they eating it or something. Yeah, they oh. puke into each other's mouths after it. I saw the whole because I, I was sixteen when it came. You're masturbating out. to it. No, I was. <laughs> I was literally like, "Ooh, what the fuck?" Yeah. And it, and I, it quickly it quickly got banned. Yeah. And then they put it behind a paywall. Yeah. <laughs> it was like. I, I I heard rumors that those two girls were like held at gunpoint to do it. To See, I heard rumors that they shoved stuff up their butt and then pooped it out. I heard it wasn't really no, poop. So I don't even know. I don't, I, either way, it was nasty. What world are we living in? You know, it's crazy. Anyway, he just crazy. told me that they 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 got them shoot cows with bazookas. In places. Oh yeah, yeah. Was, you you saw that? Oh uh, yeah, I was. Our, um, you they know, do it probably over in those sandy countries. I bet. I was in Thailand. You can go over there and like apparently like I Nate. And my buddy Chris were telling me like they were over in Thailand. When, and they blew up a cow. No, but they they saw people doing it. Oh, okay, gotcha, like, gotcha. They saw places where you can go. Uh, my 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 buddy Charles, shout out Charles, uh, was in Afghanistan in '04. He was in the army and shot donkeys with a 50 cal. <laughs> yeah, good job getting them. Yeah, yeah way to one up me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my friend actually did it. <laughs> yeah, my friend, my friend wasn't no bitch. Man. <laughs> My friend completed the mission. Because he, he's six foot seven. He was the the guy in the top of the Humvee, like, do, 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 do. Yeah. yeah. And he shot donkeys. Thanks for your service. Wild. Yeah. Thank yeah, you, thank you Charles. Service, Charles. Thank you for killing donkeys, my nigga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and every Monday on Kill Tony from, from Oh, yeah, on, yeah, yeah. 
Right. And then also, are you, are you now, you don't have, you just happened to fill in last, by the way, thank you for the spot last night. Oh, no problem. I appreciate bro. it. You know what's fucked up about that? Uh, so I didn't expect, I went in there with my whole thought process of, well, I'm not doing comedy tonight. Yeah. So I went in shorts. So <laughs> no, I was in shorts, which bothers me. But so I went and a friend of mine gave me a couple bumps of cocaine. Uh, and I, I, I hate Right doing, before I told you that? Yeah. <laughs> So, so I was like, when you told me, because I'm never going to turn a spot down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you told me, I was like, yeah, I'll, yes, I will. But in my mind, I was like, fuck. Oh, I was like, fuck. Because I hate doing, I don't want to, I like doing, I no, that's awful. Yeah, yeah. And I felt awkward on stage, like, because I'm like high on fucking blow. Yeah. And just fucking, just but it jokes. was fine. Like, I did okay. Yeah, yeah, that's but, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it was, inside, I was like, that's so funny, dog. Yeah. That's funny. But I didn't want to be oh, like I, I wasn't gonna say no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, are you um are you gonna be doing that regular show like? That's what I was getting at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, we all book it, and then cool. so y'all yeah, want to fuck yeah. Let me know. Well, I, we may, may, let me just say you should be the one out of the three of those guys that actually promote it, <laughs> they, <laughs> dude. They don't promote. That they don't even. At all. all it would take is a post, guys. Yeah. It's just, Come just, to the show. just share, <laughs> share the story. It was funny because last night I was like, it's they came for the regular show and it's only one guy and I just got there. Like I just got on. And it was it was just funny to think like, oh, you're not gonna see me for a little minute. You're not gonna see none of us for a minute because yeah. I was on the road, yeah. David on the road, Montgomery on the road. Well, I work Tuesdays now, so Yeah. Yeah, I'll be there. But uh yeah, whenever I appreciate I appreciate that. Whenever I'll be there. Um you but yeah, I'm working, I'll just walk down. Yeah, this is yeah. smart. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um Nick Corey. Check out Absurd Junk. Uh, check out Osbos. Subscribe to the sidecar Junkaroo at junkaroo.mag. Um, Nick, Nicholas Sapaglia. Um, Nicholas underscore Sapaglia and all everything. Check out the High Noon TikTok. Oh, We've got a TikTok now, so we're getting with the times. High Noon underscore underscore pod. Um, let's see. Yeah, just come check me out. The Mothership. That's basically where I be. All the time, I live there, and um, yeah, maybe do some road stuff along the way. Um, but you'll be kept no. up to date on that. Look at Bill. Bill's here. Bill. Bill. Oh, face Bill. 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 <laughs> Bill. Hey, Bill. He's been active this whole episode. Yeah, Bill, and he hasn't Bill. farted once. Which thank you, we appreciate. Yeah, I heard that you was fucking a monster. Look how sweet he is. Hey, Look at that cute, sweet, cute face. You a good dude. Um, yeah, check out my Instagram. Uh, link for my merch is in my bio. Oh, I need to do that on the high noon. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So um, check us out. Yeah, please like and subscribe on YouTube. High noon, the high noon podcast, and uh, we got merch now. We got these beer, cool pint glasses and coffee mugs. Got and stickers and shit. T-shirts. Got the shirts, um, and I'll put that link in the bio of the Instagram, and also in this episode. Uh, Cam, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having. Appreciate it. Oh, also August uh, August nineteenth. Midnight Mass. Vulcan Gas Company. Yes. At Vulcan Gas Company. Cool. Uh, Thank you guys. Cool. Hell yeah. Thanks for the whip off again. I did. With that Wiley. I saw it. Uh, I'm going to his friends, I think, right? Make sure you like, share, and subscribe on all platforms. I'm sorry. Was I ignoring you? We'll see you next week on the Dusty Trail. More he was literally laying right there at Cam's feet, just uh, staring at me through that whole episode. That's so fun. Good boy. Who's your papa? Who's a good boy?